Hi, this is Miles Marie, the soldier of Mary. Today, I want to look at the chronology of the prophetic events of Garabandal, the warning, the miracle, the chastisement. Here is a picture of the official chronology of the coming events at, at, in the world that Our Lady predicted at Garabandal. This is the official chronology. But as you'll notice here in this diagram, this official chronology doesn't date from the early days of the apparitions. And this is one of my problems. The warning in particular is first mentioned long time after the early days of the apparitions. The first time we read of the warning is in the writing of Conchita. The early Garabandan scholars are pretty clear, pretty sure, that the warning was revealed to Conchita on the 1st of January 1965. But interestingly, she didn't write down anything about this event or, or seemingly speak to anyone really about this event until sometime in the middle of 1965 when she begins to write to a couple of people telling them rather vaguely about this thing called a warning and then over the years there are interviews that she does with various magazines in which more and more details get added We've been told in these early interviews that Conchita is, was the first person to have the warning revealed to her, the 1st of January 1965. And yet, in these magazine interviews of the 1970s, Mary Loli and Jacinta say they have heard about the warning, even though Conchita says that she was the first one to hear about this, and the first time she heard about this was the 1st of January 1965. So some people say, more recently, have tried to say, well, Mary Loli Jacinta, they did, they did hear about this earlier. They never mentioned it to Conchita, but then later on in the 1970s, they did start talking about it in magazine, in magazine interviews. And Conchita got clearer about more information in the 1970s and so had more to tell us about the warning in the 1970s and onwards that's one way of looking at it but another way is to look back at the earliest records and to see what were the children saying publicly in the days of the apparitions about the forthcoming events because it's entirely possible and plausible that with time and with the doubts that descended upon the children, uh, children at Garabandal, and with the fact that the warning seems to have been mentioned in an earlier apparition in Germany, in Hed, or Hedda, however it's pronounced, the warning seems to have been mentioned there in uh, apparitions before the, the Second World War in, in Germany. And apparitionistas were going around on the different apparition sites talking about stuff, Maybe the children heard about it. Maybe they got in, they were under some impression. Or for whatever reason, maybe they just got confused. And they started adding this stuff about the warning. Because, and this is what I'm going to show you now. When you look at the public messages of Garabandal, there's no warning. Here's the first message of Garabandal that the, the children received together. The messages of the coming chastisement... The cup is filling up. A chastisement is coming. Then we have the two, the mini messages that follow the night of screams. Again, in recent years, there's been some kind of attempt to say that Jacinta and Mary Loli foresaw the warning on on the first of these nights of screams. But the message they have the next day following the night of screams is of chastisement. And then the message following the second night of screams is of coming chastisement. And then the final public message to Conchita, June 1965. Again, after she's privately apparently been told about the warning, Our Lady doesn't want to include this in her public message for the world for some strange reason. And we have, again, in the final public message, the cup is now overflowing. Chastisement is on its way. So for me, there's a real tension and a contradiction, really, between 
the interviews of the 1970s where all of a sudden the warning comes to the fore everyone's talking about the warning and in the actual days of the apparitions when the children's chronology in the days of the apparitions the chronology was there's a chastisement coming and then in the future there will be a miracle after the chastisement there was no warning they said you are living in the days of the last warnings you're experiencing the final warnings now a chastisement is coming and that's why interestingly in the first book on garabandal written during the 1960s and published before the fourth message was released that book's got no mention of the warning in it it's the one that's called i think it's called apparitions at garabandal that one has no mention of the warning because no one knew about the warning until later on the 70s that's really when it starts getting spoken about and now that's enough on the on that side of things i now want to talk about how illogical the official chronology actually is when you think about it the official chronology warning miracle conditional chastisement and i've kind of thought of an analogy i thought of the best analogy i could so the idea is that someone says to you you are going to get cancer if you do not stop eating steak every night imagine someone threatening you that now that threat is pretty strong maybe you're going to stop eating steak every night you're definitely going to cancer if you don't stop eating steak every night that's got punch maybe you're going to change your life as, as a result of it especially if it was our lady telling you it but now imagine this the person says to you you are going to die of cancer if you don't stop eating steak every night but first i'm going to send you a miraculous moment in your soul that makes you want to stop eating steak and makes you realize interiorly the pathway you're going down if you don't stop eating steak i'm going to do that to you in some years time and then i'm going to give you a miracle that will cure you of the maybe the little bit of cancer that's already there in your so in your body there's going to be a miracle that miraculously makes you not want to eat steak but then if you don't stop eating steak you will die of cancer conditional chastisement maybe the analogy doesn't help you enough but the idea is why is someone why is our lady warning threatening us and saying change your ways a chastisement is coming quiver in your bones a chastisement is coming if in actual fact before the chastisement there's a a warning and for me the warning has struck has always struck me as greater than the miracle you know if everyone in the world instantaneously saw the state of their soul yeah and realize how they stood before god i'm not sure that there's a miracle greater than that to be honest so so she's giving us this threat of chastisement but to me the threat seems completely empty and pointless if in actual fact there's going to be this part of the threat is uh, oh yeah there's going to be a warning and there's going to be a miracle that's going to convert the whole world but you know you, you do need to stop sinning because after the warning and after the miracle if you still don't stop sinning there's going to be a chastisement it seems like that's a really weird pedagogical method for our lady to follow it just doesn't seem very clever at all at garabandal the public if this was true if this were true the public messages at garabandal the four ones that are upon the screen they shouldn't be saying there's going to be a chastisement there's going to be a chastisement change there's going to be a chastisement instead the public messages should have been saying there's going to be a warning and i don't know is that like a like thank god there's going to be a warning or something like or maybe it would be like um prepare yourself there's going to be a warning um but i don't know if you need to prepare yourself for a warning um maybe the message would be like oh yeah keep sinning as much as you like because and don't bother converting your family because really soon they're going to all going to get a warning so they're going to want to stop sinning anyway you don't need to convert them now because it's going to happen already through this warning would that be a message what kind of message would that be <laughs> maybe the public message would be maybe it would simply be i i'm so merciful i'm such a merciful god or our lady saying god is so merciful and he loves you so much that in the very near future there will be a warning give thanks to god give praise to god that a warning is coming 
Uh, already even now, some of you are experiencing in your side of inside of yourselves the preparation for the warning. My children, there will be a day of a greater warning. Praise God for his mercy. Praise God and beg him to bring about the warning even sooner. Your prayers will help bring about the warning before the time that has been allotted for it. That seems to be the logical public messages of Garabandal. If the um, chronology of heaven actually were warning, miracle, conditional chastisement. The idea of, of Our Lady's main message being chastisement, 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 when in the 1970s it's like actually there's not chastisement there's amazing warning amazing warning amazing warning you can almost forget about the chastisement forget about the forget about the four messages of our lady at garabandal all about chastisement because they're kind of irrelevant because there's going to be amazing warning coming i think you can see where i'm going with this for me the chronology of garabandal doesn't make sense i'm not the only one saying this other people have also made this point. Some of the great followers of Fatima have made this point. They're very worried, some of the followers of Fatima, because, because Our Lady at Fatima's chronology did not feature a warning and it did not feature it did not feature a miracle and then a and then a chastisement. The chronology of Fatima was there will be a chastisement and then Russia's gonna be consecrated, then there'll be a great miracle. The, you know, the, there'll be a period of peace given to the world and Russia will be converted, which sounds pretty miraculous to me. So the Garabandal official chronology that there's going to be a warning, then a miracle that converts the whole world, then a chastisement if people don't change their lives after they've had the warning and the miracle. It's different from Fatima. And it's also different from Akita. Akita is saying chastisement. It's not even getting onto the idea that there's going to be a period of peace. Akita's just saying there's a chastisement coming. And so really, if you followed my train of thought, Akita and Garabandal in the early days does seem to agree with Fatima. The idea that there is a chastisement coming very soon and then afterwards there will be a miracle. That chronology, chastisement, miracle, getting rid of any idea of a warning that actually does go along with with akita and fatima so here we go i'm kind of of the view that the warning isn't a real thing it's somehow being made up invented concocted it probably not deliberately but whatever i don't have an explanation for for how the warning got into the chronology like i said maybe the idea that there were all these uh, apparition followers in garabandal and by auto suggestion, the girls pick this up. Certainly, it falls into the category of late, late locutions because it's not in any of the messages, and it's not. It doesn't feature in interview interviews that the girls are having during the times of the apparitions. It's something that emerges in the seventies. In the case of Hasinta and Mary Loli, Mary Cruz has never met, spoken about it ever, and and Conchita it starts appearing in letters uh, rather bre vaguely and briefly in the in nineteen sixty five, as the apparition comes to a close, as the phenomena in Garabana come to a close, and then again she has some more interviews in the seventies where she gives us more details. There are problems with the official chronology of Garabandal. And I think maybe we're better off with the primitive chronology of Garabandal. May Almighty God bless you. May Our Lady intercede for you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.